week of Easter, Saturday, parable of the net. The ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Psalm 1 verse 5. Dear redeemed, the previous parable concerned the word going forth to accomplish God's purpose. The parable for today reveals truths about judgment day. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered fish of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to the shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but the bad they threw away. So shall it be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be the wailing and the gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13, verses 47 through 50. This parable is fairly straightforward. The application, however, is not always understood. First, the point of comparison might be something like, as the good fish and the bad fish are separated after the net is drawn to the shore, so will the righteous and unrighteous be separated on judgment day. The gospel is the net, and it draws people into the church. However, not everyone in the congregation is righteous. This is because the righteousness that is acceptable to God on judgment day is the righteousness that is outside the merits, works, virtues, and worthiness of ourselves and all people. It is not of our doing or living under the law. Rather, saving righteousness rests on Jesus, who is our righteousness. This God-man has obeyed the law perfectly and suffered the consequences of all sins in our stead. By Christ's obedience, God's unchangeable, eternal righteousness revealed in the law has been satisfied. This is the righteousness of the gospel. Faith believes this promise of God and has the righteousness of Christ. Salvation is by grace through faith. Those who, for whatever reason, do not believe this good news or reject it, do not have the gift of Christ's righteousness. Separation from God and condemnation await them on judgment day. Faith and unbelief are unseen and of the soul. Therefore, neither you nor I are able to distinguish the righteous and the unrighteous. The Lord will make that revelation and oversee the separation on judgment day. More on that tomorrow. The central truth? The righteous will be saved. Prayer. Lord Jesus, my Redeemer and Savior, grant me your righteousness always, and keep me faithful to the end. Amen. Hymn number 326, stanzas 1 and 2. Jesus, thy blood and righteousness, my beauty are my glorious dress. Midst flaming worlds in these arrayed, with joy shall I lift up my head. Bold shall I stand in that great day, for who ought to my charge shall lay. Fully through these absolved I am, from sin and fear, from guilt and shame.